So hello everybody and welcome to another video on Power Week. Power Week means that the Power BI team has released a new Power BI desktop update, this time March 2019. And we are going to talk about the new modeling features this time. And uh, have great news for you. They have made great improvements to this feature. Number one, and my favorite one of all it is that is now not on preview anymore so you don't have two modeling panes i cannot understand why they have both when the functionality was the same but i've been picky as always so super happy it is just there one modeling tab and it's all ours so they have done more let's go and take a look at what they've done okay so the first thing they've done is uh, you can bulk edit things. And this is very, very, very good for, for example, calendars. You know, every time you have to create a new calendar, you can copy and paste the code and you have a new calendar right off the bat. No problem. But you need to shape it so it works the way it should. I have a few videos on that. Playlist calendars, go there and check them out. So the let's see the one of the things that you need to do with calendars is you need to have columns to sort dates and month names and day names and all that stuff so i have them here i always call them sort short touch i find them and before you have to go and hide one by one each of those because you know you use them and then you don't want to have them on the report pane you just want to hide them you don't want to see them so now you can click the first one and then control click and click the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and then you go, you see them, boom. Click there once. It's not, you're not supposed to drag, that's weird. Okay, so click and then it will, mm. and as you can see now, those things are hidden, so you don't see them anymore. So this will make creating calendars faster. Another thing is that, you know, when you import day or year or week number, you import them as numbers. You want to sort them correctly. But then when you put them in the comeback, you don't want them to summarize and they do that by default. So if I pick day before anything, look at this formatting, I can change the data type, the format, the percent already in here and not only that i can even change the data category and if it's summarized by something yay for those of you that didn't know why i'm being so happy before you have to go here and then to the modeling tab because as you can see here the modeling tab does not have anything so you actually have to go to either do it from here or do it from here so you see day that is day it, it is a number, because it is a number, you want it to be able to sort uh, um, numerically, but you don't want it to summarize, so you want to change that. So I had to go there to fix that, and it was super annoying. And you have to do it one by one. Not anymore, no, 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 let's look at that. You'll see, we pick date, we pick fiscal month, fiscal quarter, fiscal year, week number, year, month number, quarter number. And then we go down here and say summarize, summarize none. And it is done. Oh my God. This was one of my biggest pains when I started a new Power BI project because it takes like half an hour to just set the calendar, which is just ridiculous. So not anymore. It's really, really, really good. Okay. What else? Folders. They have, uh, you know, you can select multiple, um, let's say we have the calendar and we have fiscal month, quarter, year, and fiscal year, quarter. So we want to create a folder for that. So you click, control, click all the ones that you want that have fiscal. And then I think you could do that before fiscal. And then you get them there. But before, to be able to add them to the folder, you need to click on here and then write the name in there again. You cannot drag and drop. You can't drag and drop now. Hallelujah. So, but I'm going to show you something. Let's say 
if you want to drag and drop this outside the folder, you will say, oh, I take it and I drag and drop it there. It creates a hierarchy. I, it, it makes me nervous, these hierarchies, because I create them all the time without wanting to. They just pop up everywhere and then you have to delete them. They are an absolute pain. It shouldn't be that easy to create a hierarchy. You should like right click create a hierarchy or something. I don't know, like folders. Where you sit, okay. But just delete these two and then the hierarchy will disappear, hopefully. Yes, I want to delete it because that was not my intention. So if you want to remove a column measure or whatever from a folder, you have to go up here and drop it in there on the table level, not on the columns, because it will create a hierarchy and you don't want that. Okay, so once you do that, you see, it just leaves the map. And if you want to put them in, you just go to the folder. I am guessing that if I put it not in the folder, but in a column, it will create another hierarchy, which we don't want. But thumbs up. Really, see, I love these folders on, on um, tables. It, it just makes the model so much cleaner and easier to work with. They are fantastic. So the fact that you can drag and drop, very, very good. Um, I think it would be good to, you know, right click and you say add folder or something. You can't do that. Hopefully in the next release. I'm betting that they are going to do it. It's just not possible just yet but you will be able to right click and say create folder. Now you have to select the ones that you want and then give, give it a name on display folder, which is not intuitive at all. But hey, small steps, baby steps to a big mountain. Okay, next, multiple diagram layouts. Um, I think this was already there, but I want to show you something because I've done this mistake and oh my gosh, Okay, if I put the calendar here, you know, you can make different layouts of your model, which is great for visibility, you know. When the models are a big bigger, I do that to be able to see how things work. Um, they put the calendar and then I'm going to put the orders in there. And then if there is a relationship between them, you can see that automatically comes. Fantastic. Now, if I put categories, in there, okay. And uh, I say, oh no, I don't want to have categories there. Mistake. How do you remove this? You go in here and it says, delete from model. Do not, I repeat, do not click delete from model ever. Don't, just don't, because you know what it does? It removes the table completely gone from your model everywhere. It does say delete from model. I have delete tables from model because it's the first delete I find on the table. I don't continue reading and boom, they're gone. So if that happens to you, don't save your file. Close Power BI and open your backup, okay? <laughs> because that's the only way to do it. If you want to remove a table from the model, from the diagram, you have to do this. Remove from diagram and it will go. So what is the feedback here? Guys, the lead from model has to be the last one on the list. It has to be the last one because when you're just reading, you are in a hurry, you go and then the first delete you find, boom, you just delete and that's not the one and everything disappears. Mm -hmm. But small comments, small details, this is fantastic. It just makes working with models so much easier. I love the new modeling tab. I think it is absolutely great. Folders out of my mind, fantastic. And then the way that you can now hide in bulk, change in bulk, you, you can drag and drop two folders. It makes working with Power BI easy, very easy. Thank you very much, Power BI team, for this great update. I really, really, really dig it. So. I'll see you again on the next Power BI video. Uh, until then, you take care. Bye.